What's going on everybody? Welcome to a new video and in this one I'm going to show you guys what I think is one of the best man-to-man -man beating plays in the game and that is the single back ace PA fake quick. Now before I get into the video real quickly I just want to say if you guys enjoy the content, the tips, and the breakdowns it would really mean a lot if you subscribe to the channel and left likes on the videos that you do enjoy. Now getting into this play it's in five different playbooks that I've counted. You can see on the side of the screen right there the five books that you can find this play in. And the route that's going to do a great job of beating man-to-man -man coverage is that Ted Ginn Jr. route on the Automotion wheel. You might say that a lot of people don't run man-to-man, -man, but this scheme in particular with single back ace, what you want to do is you want to establish plays like the dive and the stretch and really establish the ground game. And so if you are able to do that, a lot of guys will resort to just blitzing you and like all-out man blitzing you. And that's where this route can really, really uh, be very effective for you. So what you're going to see here, I'm in 4-3 under on defense. Now, I am against the regs rosters, but we'll get into this a little later. Uh, they've been updated and altered so that you have 91 zone throughout the secondary, along with Bobby Wagner in the middle has 91 zone. So the passing concepts that you see later on in the video about zone coverage, you'll also be able to carry over into Mutt. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys just a normal edge sting cover zero man-to-man -man blitz that some people might resort to to try and slow down your ground game if you really are killing them with it and you're going to see right here just run the play stock ted Ginn, auto motion and out there in the flat he is going to be wide open literally every single time and so we'll go ahead and show you guys an instant replay just why this happens and it's because the guy who's supposed to be guarding him in this case it's richard sherman he doesn't follow him across the line of scrimmage he stops once he reaches the outside of that right side tight end and he doesn't follow him across and see how he's just kind of wavering around wavering around he actually looks in the backfield at the play fake and now he starts running towards ted ginn and ted ginn's already cutting up the field on his wheel route so literally all you have to do as the quarterback i cancel the play action at the last second look out to him let ted ginn cut up the field if you throw it too quickly ted ginn will get like a diving animation and, and you won't be able to get the rack yards and so just wait for him to cut up the field throw it rack catch on the sideline and that's literally what you're going to be seeing every single time against man-to-man -man coverage so if you're established the ground game and your opponent resorts to man-to-man -man and you notice that then that's definitely something you can go to especially even if they go two man under i know a lot of people don't run two man under some people might run stuff like cover one but it still works no matter the man-to-man -man coverage you're still going to be getting the same exact effect he's going to be wide open out there in the flat literally every single time now that's the man-to-man -man part of this now a lot of people will run stuff like cover four i won't really go over cover four too much because it's pretty easy to pass on especially underneath uh, but a lot of people will also go to cover two especially if you're killing them with the stretch cover two does a good job of stopping outside runs and so um, something that you can do against cover two to kind of make this play a little bit better is that you can put Josh Hill as your primary receiver and we can do a playmaker trick uh, with him. Now, what I'm going to show you here first off against cover two is you can still throw that Ted Ginn route even uh, with the cloud flat out there. What you're going to see right here, I'll go ahead and show you guys. Snap the ball. That cloud flat gets sucked in out there. Now, you're not going to get the same you know, huge amount of separation. You're going to get five yards. But that's 91 zone out there with Coleman because the roster has been altered. And that's what happens. That outside zone defender gets sucked in by this Michael Thomas crossing route. And as soon as you see him kind of like make that step towards the inside, that's when you want to throw this ball. And you'll be able to see kind of how he almost like falls down right there. And you'll be able to catch the ball. You can even possession catch it and just take your five yards and, and you know you get five yards every play it's going to be a nice drive so that's something that could definitely frustrate your opponent because they have a zone out there that should be guarding that uh just because of the mechanics of the route and how 91 zone cloud flats play that michael thomas route uh that's going to be something you're going to be able to hit very consistently if they want to sit in that cover two shell so once again right there go ahead he even broke the tackle right there picked up eight or nine yards so that's something you can do against cover two now a lot of guys if they do go with the cover two with the middle linebacker in the deep zone which is very very popular this year uh, something that you can do that's very very effective is what i was talking about beforehand with josh hill on the fade route and we can do the playmaker trick with him now if you haven't seen the playmaker trick that's a few videos back i'll go ahead and have like a link up above uh, that you guys can click on if you don't know how to do that so we're going to go ahead and take a look at it here still with the auto motion and the play fake snap the ball Playmaker him over the middle of the field, low pass, and that's exactly what you're looking for. You'll still be able to sink that in. 
uh, because of the fact that that linebacker sinks too far back at the snap of the ball. He drifts just a little too far. And the left side fade, as you can see, is actually the one that distracts him uh, because it's a little further downfield at this point. And so it actually helps out if you have two tight ends. The left one being faster helps you know clear out a little more space uh, for this right side. But you want to playmaker him. Uh, like I said, playmaker trick, it's left trigger and then right analog stick and then left trigger again. And so right analog stick probably at about like a 630 angle on your right stick. It's almost directly down and just a little bit to the left. And you want Hill cutting and you want him flattening off his route as much as possible because uh, that deep third is dropping so far deep. All this area right here is open. You want him running into that open area. And so you cut it off low pass so that even though Wagner cuts back on it, he can't make a play. As you can see, Hill's able to shield him from making a play on the ball. Those low passes are very effective against 91 zone. And that's exactly what you're looking for over the middle against that Tampa two with the middle linebacker in a deep third. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. This is a fantastic route, especially if you're playing against somebody who loves running man to man. And then you still have other options to open it up and attack other parts of the field against different defensive coverages. So as always, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, guys, take it easy.